So, something out. It's gotta be the mailbox. It's a mailbox. The number 626 is on it. We open the mailbox. The neighbor of the beast. The neighbor of the beast, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. A, I like that. Envelope. Totally blank except for the name Mr. Sternwood. Plastered in. Pasted. Pasted. In, in newspaper cutouts. Well, shit. So, Sternwood. Yeah, that's that's the guy in the house. Okay. Let's open yes. this. Open the envelope too. Letter. Letter one. This ransom note reads: Sternwood, we have your wife. You have 24 hours to collect 20 grand. If the con if you contact the police, she's dead. Be standing at the corner of Peoria and Elm at exactly 12 midnight. Okay. Peoria. Yes. Have the ransom in a briefcase. There you'll be contacted with further instructions. Okay. We have the briefcase. Well, we have a briefcase now. I did take the briefcase from the house. Take this letter, too. Okay. You probably want to take the envelope, too. Oh, yeah, because it's got, like, the... It's like the, the classic newspaper, like, ransom thing. Okay. Take that. Nice. Alright, now you can get in the cab... Now we heading out. Are you in a yellow cabbie? Yes. Cabbie, take me home. Take me back to, to take me back to this place. Peoria. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, here we are. You owe me seventy-five cents. Okay. Now we may need to go get some more coins, because that's the last bit. I'm sure we have to be traveling some other places. You know. Well, if nothing else, you owe the blue cabby three coins. Oh, yeah, that too. It would be nice to pay off all my debts before we, like, you know, solve the murder. Thanks for the fare, Mac. Well, I mean, we, we've we kind of already solved the murder. Like, we know what happened at this point. Yeah, but now we gotta, like, so, catch them. Unless we just go to the police station. I don't think they'll believe me, well, though. Before we go to the police station... <laughs> yes. We have things to worry about. There's a drunk crossing the street. That's what we're worried about. Oh, I can just exactly. leave. Never mind. Well, I mean, I could talk to you. I mean, he's a drunk, though. What? Okay, I'll talk to him. This is the guy who told you about the hitman. Oh, yeah. He looks weak and defenseless. He seems drunk. Maybe you shouldn't get mixed up with him. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just walk on. He'll be fine. Papers. You're on the street in front of the newsstand. Perfect. You're staying okay. Have you tried opening the door to Joey's bar? Um, I'm pretty sure I have. The door won't open, it must be locked. We have like eighteen keys though. You think we have a key you for have that? A number of keys. We gotta. I mean I'll just use all the keys on them. We'll see. And I'm pretty sure I didn't click on the door there. <laughs> yeah, you pretty sure you clicked on the alleyway there. Okay, this won't fit. Don't use the bill. Okay. <laughs> I'm having some difficulties here. This Just key won't offer fit. the door 20 bucks. Maybe this will make you open up. <laughs> this is enough to, to, to grease the hinges. <laughs> oh, okay, let me see. Key. Do we really only have, like, the two keys? No, here's some more. Okay. This opened that the office. Okay, that didn't work. Pretty sure this is the Mercedes-Benz key. Okay, that didn't work, obviously. Okay, I don't want to use the key anymore. Well, damn, I guess we don't have a key for this. Shit. I well, feel like we just missed okay. it. What guess you're this? going the the sewer way. Oh, no. We're going to get lost again. Oh, not open. Oh, yeah, move. Move here. God, I'm, I'm going to get turned around this damn sewer. I already know it. I'll, I'll pull up the sewer map. <laughs> Now, we'll go through the hole. You're inside the sewer. We take a good, good right. And you're inside the sewer, we go up. Oh my god, I remember. <laughs> or it was luck, I don't know yet. What are we doing here? Are we getting more money? Well, there's more money to pay off the cabbie, for one thing. There's no one inside the casino. Yes, yes, I know. Use this. Oh, I just no, need the coin. Oh, coins. You I want gotta examine it. Yeah, yeah. 
The slot machine, want to try your luck? A coin is left in the slot machines in the slot machine's dish. Take one coin. That's that's so useful. Oh, let me use the coin. Use it on this. Spin it. Come on. Come on, big Did money. Win. Get save the bells. Play, play. <laughs> Let it rip. There we go. Got that jackpot. Well, maybe a you jackpot. Got three baby Perfect. That's what I always wanted. <laughs> We've gotten 16, 15, or 16. That's a six, That's I think. A 16. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> All right. So now you want to look around in here. Don't don't leave. Oh, don't we're not leaving. No, not look around in the casino, but look around inside Joe's bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just I was ready to just examine this little tiny casino. You're looking for a pencil. Oh yeah, yeah. Now if I was a pencil, <clears throat> I would probably be in the secretary's uh office. No, you'd probably be in some office or another. Yeah. You're in the secretary's office. Now we, I think we opened the desk, but I, I'm pretty sure we checked, and there was, yeah, just an envelope. Okay. What about this thing? I don't know. I'm not sure what this thing is. Oh, it's a typewriter. Never mind. <laughs> um, is this just a lamp? A phone? Okay. I guess not in here. Is a dead body? Yes, yes, we know. Um, is this a desk I can open? Open the desk. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what do you bet that's the key to the front door of Joey's bar? It's gotta be. Yeah, it's marked it's front. It's marked front. That would have came in handy a long time ago. <laughs> huh, well at least we have it now. And we got the pencil. With how fast I found that, it looked like I just like, knew exactly where to go. Got to get well, it. as long as you're here, you might as well put that pencil to use. Yeah. I can't do that here. Okay. Um, pencil, pencil, pencil. God, I have a lot of goods. I have so many yeah. goods. Perfect. Okay, pencil. Use a pencil. On letter... Oh, fuck. No, notepad. No. Notepad. Memo. No, wait. Yes. I think. Using a pencil to shade over the indentions on the pad. You're now able to read the indentions. Oh my god. Indentations. Oh. <laughs> Timetable. 2.15 a.m. Be sure Joe's bar is closed up and all employees are gone. 2.30. Have the Mrs. Situation in the woman's stall. Mrs. Situated in the woman's stall. Make sure she is bound and unconscious. Uh, be waiting. 2.45 a.m. Be waiting near the bar front door for Ace's arrival. Damn, he really just, like, laid out his whole plan. <laughs> 3 a.m. Put Ace in the stall. Be sure he's unconscious. Inject him with 10 cc of dianthalol trimene. Take his gun and stuff. I'm pretty sure... Didn't I have my gun? I don't know. Wait for Seagull. Well, keep reading. 2.30 a.m. Get Seagull behind his desk. Then plug him with Ace's gun. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get Seagull's car keys. Plant Seagull's things on Ace. Put Ace's gun back. Be sure his fingerprints are on it. 4 a.m. Dump Big Mars. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> Big Misses. In Seagull's car. Put stuff in glove box. Put car key in Ace's coat. Put another... Put other in key in safe. 4.30 a.m. Leave bar and lock up. Be sure not to leave ransom case behind. 5 a.m. On the way home, plant new seagull letter in Ace's file. Okay. What a setup. If you don't do something soon, they'll nail you for murder and kidnapping. Boy, this is a nightmare. Uh, you'll have to get complete proof of your innocence to the cops. I mean, we have, like, all the evidence we need, I think, right? That's, we have a lot of evidence. Well, first things first... Pay off the cabbie. Good idea, yeah. I'm gonna take the... And now you can just leave the... Okay, you go no, the no. fire escape. No, no, no. Now you can just leave the front, out the front door, but no, you're going down the fire escape now. No, I forgot about the... We're going back. We gotta use that front door. 
I forgot to use it once. We just gotta. We're um, we're walking backwards right now through the whole place. Perfect. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> now use this new key. Click. The door unlocks. Oh my God. We're we're living high now. <laughs> we got front door right. access. Okay, you're standing in the street. Okay. Now. Yeah, we. Go to that caddy. Give him the money you, he owes that you owe him. Yes. This way, probably. Give him the money he owes you. <laughs> that makes sense. Guns and ammo. Cabby man. I don't know if you remember me, but I, like I stiffed you a while back. Hey, bud, payback. Yes, I know. I got your money. God, it's crazy to think I could go to jail for like owing somebody seventy-five cents. You know. <clears throat> What would you like to use this on, pay? Forever begins County in the fair, one, two, three, quarters, thanks a lot, pal. There we go. There you go. Now we're paid up, we're looking good. We're good people. <clears throat> now, you need to take stock of your inventory. Mm-hmm. And think about all the evidence you have Got that it. proves that they did it. And all the evidence that they planted that says that you did it. Okay. That's a lot of evidence. Now, do you think you should walk up to the cops with both of those? With with all of that evidence? Maybe. Like, I want to say no. Because I feel like... But I feel like we have a, a good amount of evidence. But there's also a good amount of fake evidence against you. That's true. We could destroy the fake evidence. Okay, how do you propose to do that? Okay, hear me out. We go to the construction site. <laughs> we <laughs> <laughs> and throw yourself in? <laughs> yes. And then we're free. No, um, how the hell? I'm trying to think if we found, like, any, like, fire pits or something. Or, like, uh, I don't know, an oven. I mean, we were in that kitchen, but... He just kept remarking about the table. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, first things first, though. I'm going to save it real quick. Okay. Let's go get a quick save. Okay. So, yeah, I, I would say we take, like, the IOU, the... What else? What else are they using to frame me? We just destroy it, right? And well, then... Well, first, first, let's figure out where you're taking this stuff. Okay, yeah. Let me think. Like, huh? I'm. I can't think of where to take this stuff. <laughs> well, what's a place that you've been that a lot of people don't go? Um. The sewer. The sewer is a place. A good good place to to stash some stuff. Well, it's not so much stash as flush, but like, let's get the middleman and just dump it directly into the sewer. Oh yeah, exactly. Okay. So um, you want to move as deep into the sewer as you can. Okay. We go here. We go over here. We go through here again. Wait, are we? We might be going in circles. I'm pretty sure here. we're going in circles. Okay. Okay. Stop here. Okay. Look at your look at your little move screen. Oh, yep. Left, right, back. Is that back? I mean, is it not back through the? Oh. It's down. Oh, da I've never been here. You're in the deepest part of the sewer. Perfect. This. Mhm. Mm this is where you dump stuff. Is, was this where you were gonna suggest we dump the the medicine? Yes, this is where I was gonna suggest <laughs> you dump the medicine. We just dumped the medicine in in an unconscious so woman in my trunk. Dumped the medicine down a woman's throat and she was fine. Yeah, she just she shook it off, you know. She just went back to sleep. Okay. okay. Now is the time for you to take stock of what is incriminating to you. Okay. Well, first off, the fucking that IOU. Now let me just start. Where was it? That sure is incriminating. Okay, this is just the addresses. Uh, I'm, should I just tell you which one is the IOU since you figured out that you need to dump that? Uh, yeah, because if it doesn't it just say IOU, no okay, I was looking for IOU. 
Yeah, it's note one. Note one. And I'm still having trouble finding it. I saw note two and did thought, oh, I should go back. Did you take note one, or did you leave it behind? Nope, there oh, it is. there it is, okay. God, I was... <laughs> you don't want to use it. No, no, we want to leave it. Yes, leave it. I forgot leave was an option, because I, I haven't used that up until, like, now, you know? Discarded the note yep. one. Now, what else All is incriminating? Right. What else do you want to get rid of? Mm. God, the... What is this diary? It's a diary with the name Martha on it. Um, that's, that's Martha's Vicar's diary. Okay. Is that... I mean... Was Martha... That's the big woman, right? That's the secretary. Oh, the secretary. Okay. We'll keep that then. The big woman is Mrs. Sternwood. Okay, Stern... Okay. Did I get... See, I'm, I've always been bad about, like, names. I'm, like, a faces guy. Like, I remember faces, not names, so... And I guess... Yep. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we'll get rid of... Get rid of these glasses. Yeah, throw her reading okay. glasses. That's just an extra, like, fuck you for trying to frame me, you know? Now you can't read. Sure. Then you got the briefcase. We'll keep that. Files. Oh, they planted a file. Ace, I've got a way to get you off the hook. It's a simple. Yeah, this one right here. This is the file yep, that they planted. You definitely want to get rid of that. Yes. God, I can't remember. I remembered that. I can't remember. I remembered that. That's what I said. <laughs> it's part of the file five. Perfect. I can't remember. I believe that. <laughs> um. What else? Key envelope. Um, ammo case, briefcase, letter. See, I, I don't remember exactly what all the letters were. Sternwood, this is your final warning. Keep your hands off. Okay, we'll keep that. That's good for, for us. That's good for you. Ransom note. Stern, we have your wife. Oh, I guess we throw this away. This is fake. I mean, it doesn't like... Ha that it doesn't. seems like a good idea. It doesn't directly tie in with me, but, you know... We'll throw it away. Hold on. If you do that, it may cause you trouble later. Oh. It won't let me throw it away. Really? Well, then you okay. probably need to hang on to it. Hmm. Now... Oh, that share plane's going. Great. It's fine. Um, the bill... Oh, wait, a bill. What is that bill for? Oh, and that was probably for the medicine, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that bill shows that they ordered the medicine, so that's fine. Yeah, that might be, that I could use that against them, you know? Like, hey, they drugged me. Here's the bill for it, you know? Yeah. Bookmark, note three. Oh, it's a slip of paper with three numbers. Okay. Well, yeah. Remember what <clears throat> the murder weapon was? Oh, my fucking gun! Your fucking gun. Gun one. I think it was gun one. Yeah, it's gotta be gun one. Right. Just throw that. Yep. Ask yourself, where can I leave it? Well, do I have any more bullets for it? We could, sh we could blast it off in the sewer just for old time's sake, you know? No, we'll just throw it out. We'll just throw it away. Discard the gun one. So, there's one more thing that directly incriminates you. One more thing. Related to this whole kidnapping thing. Um... Hmm. It, it's got to be this $20 bill. Uh, no. <laughs> um, Do no. you remember what was in the glove box of the car along with... Well, I guess she wasn't in the glove box, but <laughs> Sternwood. Um, no, no, no clue. I have, like, I'm not even a good guess. Well, there was the snapshot of her. Yeah. And there was something else. Um, well, if I go to the snapshot, so here's the snapshot. Would it just be with the snapshot, like this map or note two? The car registration made out to Joey Siegel. No, the map. The street map, the way that Joe's bar is marked in ink. The, the map. It's going to be the map, right? Well, keep, keep examining. This is written on the back. Ace, yeah. Follow this route exact. Okay. Cops might find the hostage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. <laughs> Ask yourself, where are we? Throw the map away. 
discarded the map. It's gone. We're good. And there you go. You discarded all the important fake evidence. And now, now we go to the police station? Now you can go to the police station. Finally, we can just go to the police station. They won't just arrest me. And, and now that I've made you puzzle out, to some extent, what the actual incriminating evidence was, I can tell you that the game will just not allow you to throw away the important things you need to keep and will let you discard literally everything else. So you could have just discarded everything in your inventory <laughs> except what the game made you keep. Well, that that could have been useful too. I mean, like, that would have taken a while though. I yeah, I have a lot of things. You have a lot of things. I'm, I'm, and I'm I will also tell collector. you yeah. that the gun is marked as something you must discard, but the bullets in it, because you need them to progress, because there are locks you need to shoot open and such. Yeah. The bullets in them are marked as essential, so the game won't let you throw them away. Oh, that's so weird. So if, if you, like, replay this game, for example, knowing what the medicine does, so you don't need to shoot open the lock in the doctor's office to read what the medicine does, Yeah. you can get to the sewer knowing you need to ditch the gun, but being unable to ditch the gun because the bullet meant for the, <laughs> for the doctor's office lock is still in the gun. That's crazy. Or, like, had I have not have been using my gun and the other gun, and just not have, like, used it at all? So I, I yeah, could have... Yeah, or if that's you just crazy. picked up gun two first, and then been using that the, to open all these locks. Man, that would have sucked. Then the game wouldn't let you throw away gun one. I mean, I didn't test this in the... I mean, I guess I didn't have any more bullets, but... Could, can I... Can you just pop off rounds just whenever? Um, I don't know about whenever... Probably in the sewer it would have been fine, but like if you save and pop off around now, I bet you get arrested. Yeah, I probably I I I can see that happening. Let's let's test it. <laughs> let's just see yours real quick. We'll shoot at the police station. I'm sure that won't end in badly. Paint some lipstick on the gun before you fire it. Yeah, and make yeah, it all pretty. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Okay, let's go in here. Police. You're in the hands of the police. Wow, spoilers. <laughs> You're in the evidence. Nice. We we did it. We brought to them proves to be interesting in the courtroom where you wind up. During the trial during the trial of the kidnapping of Mrs. Sternwood and the murder of Joey Siegel. Three bits of evidence proved valuable. Uh, the diary from Vickers Bungalow. Good word, bungalow. The blackmail letter and timetable from Sternwood's bedroom. These three items put together paint the picture of a plot by Sternwood and Vickers to kill Mrs. Sternwood and Siegel and to make you take the fall for it. The diary and the, the blackmail letter proved the motive of such actions. Uh, the timetable indicated how they did it. Sternwood and Vickers were grilled on the witness stand. The weight of the evidence and the skilled tactics of your lawyers made Vickers admit to the crime. Way to go, Ace. Holy shit. You, uh, as a fully qualified... Okay. Because of the excellent skills, the case is laid to rest. Congratulations, Ace. You're off the hook. Uh, since the case drew national interest, your name is seen on every paper in the country. Who could have asked for anything more? Oh my god. Ace Harding's my mon my moniker. Moniker. Okay, that's a weird word. Once a boxer, now a private eye. Siegel lost his life for a mere twenty grand, so I'm off the hook. The town's really quiet all of a sudden, like nothing's happened. But but crime will never cease here. It's hu it's hunting his next victim right at this moment. Ace Harding's my moniker. The next case is just around the corner. Somebody had better look out. We did it! We beat it! Huzzah's L round. That's great! I mean, you beat it. Like, I was just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> you just point me in the right direction. I did solve uh, com some things, though, you know? Like, I... I tried not to be too leading, but at the same time... Yeah, I think you did a good balance. There points that... <laughs> it was, there were, yeah, there were some spots where if you hadn't said anything, we wouldn't have progressed at all. <laughs> Most of the things I figured out was just use gun. <laughs> I mean, it works sometimes. It did. 
god, I like that was a good game. Punch things that work sometimes. Yeah. See, violence is the answer. So <laughs> just you know. <laughs> yeah, I like this game a lot. This was fun. I'm excited to try Shadowgate and the Uninvited next. But I know you know Deja Vu. There's a sequel to this too. There is. I've not played it. Me neither. That would be. Maybe we could play it. Maybe that could be our next thing. Because if we're both going in blind, oh my goodness. you know that'd be fun. I have no. Be good. I don't know. How to do that though, because I'm. A, we'd have to like emulate it, and you'd have to like. Because I don't have like a PC to do that. You'd have to do that, but then I'd have to. Maybe Discord, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that was good. That was good. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We we've we're good detectives. Well. He's a good detective. I'm a good criminal. <laughs> but we did it. And together we are crime detective. Yes. <laughs> Don't steal that. We trademarked that. That's our name. And... We are detective crime. Crime detective. <laughs> That's right. And, you know, uh... I don't have anything to plug. Oh, podcast. Go listen to my podcast. You want, you want to plug anything? <laughs> Uh, come over to youtube.com slash circlemaster, like and subscribe. I'm finally done with Arcana. Yeah, and what I've heard, it was awful. What I've seen of it, it looked kind of cool, but I didn't play it, so. It's visually interesting for about 10 minutes, and then it's not at all. Yeah, that's fair. I could, about 10 minutes in, and I was like, eh. <laughs> Happy created ink.